All right, what's going on, you guys? It's uh, Boxing Wave. Let's talk Derek Chisora against uh, Arthur Spilka. Uh, another solid fight on the undercard of Oscar Rivas against Dillian White. Also, you have David Price against Dave Allen on that card as well. All right, so um, this is good. This is a good fight. Uh, right away, when I first heard that this fight was announced, I said Chisora. But you just, you really just don't know what Chisora because I'm been, I'm really bad at picking like his fights because it seems like he steps up in fights that you wouldn't expect him to win and in the fights where you think he's gonna win like the Caballero fight you know you, you expect them to win but then they lose you know so I didn't expect him to beat Carlos Tackham you know I didn't expect him to do so well against Dillian White in both fights I thought he won I, I thought Chisora won the first fight um but it was debatable you know either way but I think I I picked I think I had Jazor winning that one barely I, I I haven't watched my review in a while but I did do a review and I think I remember picking Jazora between the two and then in the rematch you had two judges that was picking Jazora that had Jazora up on points against uh, Dillian White all right so he definitely and I remember that fight I remember the rematch. When Jazora looked like he was in great shape when he fought uh, Dillian White. So Jazora is obviously a guy that picks and chooses when he wants to really prepare and train for a fight. So if he's a tad bit off this night, I can see him losing on points. You know, because Spilka is a mover. Um, you know, throws a, is, is a pot shotter, but he moves a lot. And... Just like Jazora, issues that he had in other fights against movers and just being outboxed. Jazora is a straightforward, come forward guy. Um, throws a lot of body shots, you know. Um, from the outside, doesn't do much. He's pretty slow, pretty flat footed. Just comes in, throws a lot of power, you know, big shots to the body and everything like that. Very, very basic, you know, very legit, like straightforward guy. Um, but I can see Spilka moving and giving him trouble. But the thing is, Spilka hasn't been in his best years lately, neither. You know, Spilka, um, since the Deontay Wilder loss, all right, he previously lost to Brian Jen Jennings, but that was a while ago. But he got the Wilder fight, um, probably his best performance because he he's having a lot of success in that fight. Uh, uh, then he went on to... Uh, I think he lost to him. I think he lost to uh, Kalnaki, Kalnatsky. Okay, he lost to Adam Kalnatsky and got knocked out by him. Okay, and that was a pressure fighter. That was another pressure fighter that just came forward, and he got Spoka out of there. All right, uh, and then Spoka kind of went on a break. And he came back and he fought Mary's walk recently and I saw that fight and that was a fight that could have easily gone to walk okay walk stopped no not stopped him but dropped him late um very close fight you know I, I've seen the fight I thought it could have gone either way that's another fight I thought I know a lot of people thought walk was robbed that fight I thought it was a close fight I thought it was definitely closer and I think walk could have definitely won especially because of that knockdown that late knockdown but Spilka just hasn't looked that good you know, and a guy that's going to be a pressure fighter like Chisora, that's going to be going to his body and it's just going to be constant pressure. And I don't think Spilka does have respectable power. I know early in his, his earlier, um, earlier in his career, he was knocking more guys out. But lately, as he stepped up, he's lost or even looked like he lost a lot of his matches, you know. And if Chisora is anywhere near his best on his A game, I think Chisora is gonna win. I think Chisora has to just straight up come in here without a care in the world and lose lose to Spilka. So I have Chisora winning this one. Um, he couldn't actually stop Spilka, or um, cause you just never know with Chisora. You just never, never, never know. You never know, man. It, that knockout attack him really surprised me because he was down on that fight. And I didn't have him winning that fight. You know, I didn't think he would win. And he ended up just randomly knocking out Carlos Tackham like that. I mean, Joshua couldn't even knock out, like, straight up knock out Carlos Tackham. You know, they stopped it, but, you know, a lot of people thought it was premature. But I got Derek Chisora is going to win. I'm going to go for it with him. 
and I would, you know what, honestly, I want Chisora to win because if 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 the winner of this fight is going to get another opportunity to fight a big name at some point down the line, I'd rather like a Joseph Parker or someone like that. I'd rather it be Chisora because I just think Chisora would bring a better fight to any any of the top 10 welterweights. I mean, heavyweights. So I, I want Chisora to win, you know, even if he's not on his best. I think if he's... The best Chisora still is better than the best Spilka, in my opinion. You know, Spilka, in my opinion, is just, I just don't really think he got it like that anymore. And that Marius Walk fight proved it to me. You know, so I got Chisora winning this one either by points or, or a later stoppage. Um, and, and that's my prediction, all right? So make sure you look out the, at the uh, other predictions I did for this card and uh, this whole weekend entirely. And um, I'll see you guys after the fight. Peace.